What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes, going on an emergency no heat service call for a new residential client in Belrose, Queens. I was just about to head on home, but the landlord, the property owner of the home, gave us a call, said they saw our videos on YouTube. They got a whale McLean boiler, just like the ones we have on our channel. And he only wants Mikey Pipes to come. Let's go see what's going on, guys. All right, I just arrived at the service call. There's the house, beautiful. Took me about uh, 17 minutes to get here. I just started my time. And uh, we got packages at the front door. There's no car in the driveway. Hey, uh, good luck. I bet you there's no one home. Where's the thermostat? We'll start at that first. Uh, thermostat right here. How long has he been out for? Um, since yesterday afternoon, around four o'clock. Okay. It, we lit it again, but then there were lights on the little console thing here that were blinking. So I think she turned the blue knob to let the water go in because the water little reservoir was low, but then water started coming out of here. I mean, coming down on the ground. From where? Uh, all she did was turn this blue lever right here. Okay. And then, because I think she said something about this water thing here was too low. Okay. So she turned it, and, and then there was water coming down on the floor. So then she turned it off. Out of nowhere? Like from the bottom yeah. of the boiler, maybe? From the bottom of the boiler. Ah. Okay. And then we just left it alone after that, because now we don't know. And the pilot is on. And a lot of heat was here, huh? And that's on there. I wonder if the uh, rollout switch is burnt out. Interesting. That should. Okay, that stopped. Thermostat is on. Bill switch. Oh yeah. That was definitely a click. There's the damper closing. Now the damper is opening. switch was out on safety all right doing combustion and draft analysis i got my test probe on the up inside before it gets diluted with air from the bottom of the diverter stack temperature 380 degrees o2 7.2 carbon monoxide 22 gross efficiency 82.2 and our CO2 7.85%, so all with the normal specifications. This is not going to pick up any issue with draft yet. I put my hand around the diverter of the water heater to feel any heat, and 
I got uh, nothing there, so. And my hand is not burning there either, so. Let's crank up the temperature of this water here. Put our hand there. I highly doubt there's a stainless steel liner in there. Three inch needs to be four inch and that is back pitched a little bit. That needs to be corrected. Well, that's pretty solid. Old A.O. Smith 531.8. <laughs> Five thirty-one, eighteen, maybe. Hell no. Two thousand seven. So. Build date of May fourth, two thousand seven. So that was in two thousand eight. Time for a new one. Ooh, got some nice Aero Seal asbestos pipe insulation down here. Especially that stuff right there, that'll get you good right there. Make you hire White to Luxembourg. That stuff right there. All right, still good. Let's clipboard these results. All right, the results of the combustion and draft analysis here. Dated, time, sticker, carbon oxide, nothing in the house. Valve tag is on gas for a boiler, gas for water heater, water heater feed, boiler feed, service tag. And it's just for some more shits and giggles. Nothing. And I keep my hand there so we don't have a positive draft on camera either. What's up with that cover and that cover? I got no idea, but this is all done wrong. <laughs> this whatever <laughs> and I guess they didn't want to touch anything more because of all the asbestos up there so look at that we even got some brass piping here in this house look at that brass from the domestic hot water line look at that it looks brand new I'm sure she's filled with cocky on the inside of the pipe though all right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that video. So we are trying to create an outro. Oh, it's man, baby. Take two. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the emergency service call video. And even though I could have just easily just hit that button, that roll, that spill switch in the back of the boiler, I did a combustion analysis and I confirmed the house was safe using the top tits CT580 personal carbon monoxide monitor that we carry in our pockets when we are going into customers' homes and places of work. Protect yourself and your loved ones by being protected from carbon monoxide, the silent killer. You can't see it, smell it, or taste it. Link in the description box down below. Buy it on Amazon, it's like 20 bucks. What are you waiting for? Get the link down below and buy it before I have a brain aneurysm.